what is up it's your boy Silos. hope you guys been doing all right uh make sure you guys check me out right here or i'll put it somewhere up here because it was too quick on the tv um doing the overview of gotham central make sure you check out that video that was one of my actual last comic book videos so um check that one out and come back over here because you know or watch this video and then go check that one out so um without further ado as you saw the thumbnail i'm gonna be showcasing some of my my uh statues that i got right here here's one of them uh we're gonna take a quick closer look these are i believe six inch scale uh figures and um i've been knocking out some uh some comic books that i've been having in my backlog such as the x files i've been i'm gonna binge read this right here i'm on the second chapter uh, i was thinking about doing some more comic book hauls so stay tuned for that um, also, don't forget that if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you guys know when I drop a new video. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get to it, all right? All right, all right. So what is up? What is up? Don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification so that you guys know when i drop a new video and don't forget to like and comment on this video and let me know if you have any of these or you know because honestly i know about three of them their names out of all of them that i have to show you so stay tuned and let's see what else we got all right uh for the first one we have somebody from the naruto series and um, uh, this one, I thought the hand was missing, but it's over here. Uh, also, um, doesn't move or doesn't really do anything. They're just like statues. I had them in a box. I don't really have any room to put these out or display them and stuff like that. So, um, some of these, I, I just have them in a Nike box or whatever. You know, I don't really... I don't have them laid out or assembled or anything like that. Um, also, some of them, I ain't gonna lie, they're a little beat up because my kid was straight up chewing on this guy's sheath that goes back here. So, you know, the sword sheath or whatever. So he can't even, I can't even put the sword sheath right here. But uh, let me know for number two. Uh, What's this guy's name right here? My son gave them to me. He wanted me to throw them on the channel. Uh, they were his. He had the boxes for them, but I'm not gonna lie. This guy's been having these for over six years. And I had to sort of dust them out and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so this is number two right here. We're gonna go ahead and... He, you could remove the sword and stuff like that. It's just, there you go. Um, and give it to one of the other players or, or statues or figures, whatever you want to call these. But um, this video is not going to be too long. This is just basically me checking in and trying to show uh, the homie Nerdic score, uh, the, the ones that I have right here. Um, this one, I believe, I'm not even sure if that's the sword for this one. But this one's from Demon Slayer, and uh, damn, I'm I'm really off. I don't read any Demon Slayer. I don't watch any Demon Slayer. I should dip into it, but I got other stuff that I've been uh, watching. So let me know uh, if you guys know this guy's name also as well. I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I probably don't even know most of them. The ones that I have right here. So. Um, this one is has a stand goes right here and um, I don't know what happened to it like I said these these been moved around we moved and all this stuff so some of these uh, pieces got lost and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna put him on the side there's no stand for him he won't stand by himself 
Uh, these are a straight up overview. And uh, yeah. So let's see who else we got. We got, uh, obviously we got the main character of Naruto or Naruto, whichever way you want to say it. And um, they're so beat up that this one's supposed to stand by itself, but it's so beat up. Here we go. And I'm going to show you what I mean when it's beat up. Um, this one you can't remove. This one you could remove. So here's the close up. We removed it. I'm not sure if it broke off. There's a piece in there. Yeah, I think it did broke off where my son twisted the shit out of the 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 his foot off. You know, but uh, yeah, I got that right there. Um then I just moved the camera, but it's alright. Here we go, here's a little closer look. Um let me know what you guys really like and stuff like that. But uh I'm gonna be doing a comic book haul soon stay tuned for that and uh here we go so we're moving on to the dragon ball super or gt or whatever you guys you know i've been off my game for a while so i trust me i don't even know this guy's name i'm not sure if it's raditz or uh this one i believe is a this one has a year right there 2019 most of these are made in China, but um, uh, this is the brand right here, Van Presto, 2019, made in China. Um, you can remove the tail on this one, so at least you can disassemble these right here. And this one just straight up comes apart right here, you already know. Uh, from here, his body comes off like this. So it gives you an idea. At least you can assemble these. They don't just, you know, just stand there or whatever. And uh, the tail goes right here. And yeah, so at least you can assemble them and disassemble them, do something with them. You know what I mean? But if you're good at animation and making these guys look like they're actual fighting, then that's a plus on you for that one. We're gonna move on to the next one. Um, we have Goku right here, Super Saiyan Blue. And, or, dang, I can't believe, I don't remember this guy's name right here. I think it's his Gogeta, because it has this right here. So Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, or, or God, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, it just stands there also right here. Like I said, these are like little statues right here. Uh, I believe these cost at around 20 to 30 bucks range. They're not that expensive. It's been a while. I don't know. I'm not sure if these have gone up in price or dropped, but... Um, you can't do anything with this one here, you know? So uh, we got him right there, a little close up. Let me know if you guys have a, a channel also, comment down below and let me know if you guys have a, a action figure channel, comic book channel, you know, I'm all into that right there. So Marvel, DC, manga, Comment down below, and most def, I will check out your channel, and obviously, I will subscribe, so, you know, hit me up in the comments below. Um, and for the last one, we have another Goku right here, but on this one, he's, um, uh, I took it off, he's, um, He's fused up because he got the, the Patara earrings on. You see that? The Patara earrings right there. He's uh, fused up and stuff, so. Um, this one looks like he's going at it with somebody. 
or he could be shooting, you know, his, his power, whatever he shoots. Um, this one is made by uh, Bandai. Here we go with the camera one more time. Fix this up, sorry about that. I need a steady tripod. Um, this one's a Bandai. And um, so since it's been a while, I don't even have the boxes for them or anything like that. Uh, like I said, they've been moved around quite a few times. And uh, yeah, so this video ain't gonna be long. Make sure you guys uh, check out my latest comic book video or if you're into manga, check out my manga videos. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. I will come back with another comic book video and it's uh gonna be cool so stay tuned and um you guys stay safe out there i'm gonna put this guy down and that's it so i ain't got nothing else for you guys i will come back with another video soon and don't forget once again Subscribe to the channel, um, and that's it. Peace.